Welcome back, I am some guy you've never heard of, and this is The Sims Medieval, The Kingdom of Siginhoe. Oops, that's not what I meant to click on, I meant to click on live mode here. So we are currently playing as Lady Sotrico the Illustrious, trying to take care of this squirrel infestation in Birdly, if I recall correctly. So right now it wants her to discuss Birdly's situation with Master Builder Gladys of Birdly. How am I doing otherwise? I've cleared all my things for today. Um, oh, I'm wounded. No, don't call your bird. Stop calling your bird. Yes, dismiss your red tail talk. All right, you're not super hungry. You're getting pretty tired. Regardless, you should go home, but I guess you'll go ahead and discuss the birdly situation. You want platinum already? No, you're only at silver. All right. Well, you're not far from gold. All right, let's go ahead and power through that. Ah, Queen Sotrico the Illustrious. It's true, when we Birdlyites saw the dire chinchillas racing to murder us, we were initially afraid for our lives. But we later realized you'd, that you'd taught us an important lesson. We Birdlyites need to be able to solve our own problems. We're determined to end the dire chinchilla menace ourselves. Would you be willing to teach us your fighting techniques? Dire chinchilla menace? No, they're taking care of the squirrels. They're not a menace. Alright, so now I need to train Master Builder Gladys for one hour. Right. Well, right now I need to get some sleep. Because I am quite tired. It's a little late at night, so yes. I'm going to sleep. And then when I wake up, I will get myself something to eat. Alright, let's fast forward through this. I really cannot stress enough how much I love that ultra th speed through current action button. That would be so nice if, nice if that was in CK4. Oh good, the princess is sleeping in her bed. Good. Oh, and we're up to gold already. We've got, what, two hours left on this grievous bite? Let's have some roasted rabbit. Alright, I've eaten my breakfast, um, let's go ahead and... Alright, how do I train them? Maybe it's interaction with the training zone. Train someone! There we go. All right, this old you can stop. I need the training dummy. This old stop. I need the training dummy. I need to train someone else. This old knock it off. It is not okay. Your turn is over. 
Looks like they're talking to you. Is sold? I need the training dummy. Stop. Alright, I didn't actually want to talk to you. I wanted to train someone. Oh, she's not even here. Great, where is she? Okay, let's invite her to the location then. Oh, my grievous bite has turned into major bite. Well, at least I get to wear actual clothing now. Speaking of which, I should wear either my mustache or my hat. Yes, I'll wear my Fraga hat. There we go. Master Builder Gladys of Birdley. Yes, the castle. Obviously. The throne room. No, you are not busy with something at the moment. The queen commands you. Where are you right now, anyway? And what are you doing that is so important that you can't come over when the queen invites you? Oh, you're just hanging out at the market square. Oh no, you're hanging out at... Okay, well you're somewhere where there's training dummies. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll go over there then. Alright. I'm gonna train you on one of these. There we go. Oh, wow, you're kidding me? That was the end of it? Wow, we only got gold. I had no idea it was going to be done so quick. Lame. We got, well, I mean, not, not like we have any use for more RP anyway. So we got 40 RP, 1 security, and 1 knowledge. Squirrel infestation. Though great through great determination and bravery, Queen Sachiko the Illustrious drove the fearsome squirrels from the forest of Birdley, and in doing so taught the Birdleyites an important lesson. A lesson so important that Birdley swore loyalty to Sigenho that it might be sheltered from any further disasters. Excellent. Oh, she now has three bonus levels. Thank you, Queen Sachiko the Illustrious. I will return to Birdley and train our hunters in the skills you have taught me. Birdley is grateful for your aid, and we have... and you for the aid you have rendered us, and we will swear fealty to Sig and Ho as long as you promise not to introduce any more invasive species. Ooh. Well, don't complain about any species out of control, and we won't have to in introduce any more invasive ones. Alright, so we only have two quest points left. Let's see, do we only have one two quest point quest? It seems we do. Rise of a Playwright. Any good kingdom needed a skilled bard to tell tales of heroic deeds and magnificent struggles. The kingdom of Sigenho was no exception. Would Troubadour Arthur have what it took to become a bard whose ta tales and songs would be remembered throughout history? Let's see, he can do hard work or plagiarism. No, hard work, of course. So, let's see. At Platinum, it would be 40 RP, 3 Culture, and minus 1 Security. I mean, this really is my only thing, and he's not going to plagiarize things. So, to get the essence of meaning, meaningful creativity, 
one must pay their dues. Exploring the dark depths and high peaks of the soul is a sure path to creative inspiration. It won't be easy, but the personal and professional rewards will pay off in the long run. Good art takes dedication. Right, we are playing as Troubadour Arthur again. Let's see, he needs to write two poems and pay taxes. He is hungry, he has a dry spell, and he is slightly unfocused. Okay, write two poems, pay taxes. Oh, there's a messenger post right here. Let's go ahead and pay our taxes. And then I suppose after that we will go home so that we can write a play. Okay, which one's this is the tavern right yes oops i didn't mean to do that i am hungry um yeah when you get home make yourself some food all right arthur go ahead and ultra speed through current the famous art critic Liliana had been touring the world looking for a new talent and was currently passing through Sigenho. Troubadour Arthur knew it was the chance of a lifetime. If he could prove his talent to the famous critic, it would do wonders for his career. All right. You paid your taxes already? Good. Um, have some herring soup. Okay, so what do you need to do? You need to visit the ocean. Well, we're going to take care of your duties first before we have you do that. All right, let's power through getting home and eating something. All right, let's power through cooking and then eating. All right, there we go. That's better. Go ahead and write a poem. All right. Um, what themes will it have? Go with the animals and hunting theme, and the, where'd it go, crime theme. All right, we'll call it Poachers of the Great Wood. I mean, it's animal and hunting, and then crime, poaching. Of course, it's a poem about poaching. All right, he has finished his poem. All right, write another poem. See, you've got an art theme, a love theme, a food and drink theme, and a sport theme. Let's go with your art theme and a food and drink theme. Everything is cake. It'll be about all those uh, cakes that look super realistically like other things. Everything is cake. Art and food and drink. There we go. Let's go ahead and power through that. All right, he is done with his duties. He should get. Oh, wait, how is? No, don't go to sleep. How is your bed? Let's get you a better bed. Oh, you just have the basic rope bed. Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of that. You've got about a little over 3,000 simoles. So you can buy everything but like the best three beds. Alright, so that's what? Environment 5, Energy 9. That is also Environment 5, Energy 9. Let's 
this one down here, Energy 5, Environment 9 as well, and cheaper than the other two. Yeah, let's go with this Queen Valeria Grand Dormita for poster bed. I can't quite put it where the other one was. Oh, let's move this nightstand over a bit. There we go. And there we go. That is your... Oh, do I want it there or do I want it somewhere else? No, I'd have to move a bunch of other furniture if I want to make it work somewhere else. I mean, I can make it work against that wall over there. Okay, what if we move our dresser? Move this over here. Oh, but I have to move myself first before I would do that. All right, let's go back to live mode. All right, Arthur, um, go play your loot on stage. Um, play away with the golem away. I just want you out of the room. There we go. Now let's go ahead and go back to switching the furniture around. All right, let's move your mirror so it's not in the way of the bed. Put the bed right there. We'll put this nightstand over here next to it. And then you also have this cal this candle up here on the wall. Go ahead and put your dresser beside the bed here. There we go. Your mirror can go... Oh, you have two mirrors. I didn't even realize. Let's put this other one downstairs. People can admire themselves down there if they want. Oh, there we go. We'll put it on this wall facing the stage. That way people sitting at the table that aren't, don't have the best view of the stage can look there and still be able to see the stage. That's... that sounds good. Oh, let's put your chamber pot... Let's put your chamber pot over here. Maybe a little closer to the door. So it's easier to get rid of. Oh no, let's put the chest here in front of the bed. There we go. And we'll put the tub over here in the corner. We'll put the chamber top, chamber pot over here. No, we'll put it in this corner here. There's nothing else really close to it, but that's okay. Ah, oh, yeah, I like that. All right. You don't actually have to perform a song. That's fine. You can go to bed now. Go ahead and sleep. Let's power through that. That's right, you've got a dry spell. All right, why don't you go ahead and um, woo the barmaid? Maybe that will help with your dry spell. 
Why don't you kiss her? Oh, you've kissed her before. Okay. So it's not a first kiss. I mean, since the last time we played with you, the queen has dumped you, so... Um... Extol her virtues. Oh, that kiss was enough to get rid of your dry spell. Excellent. Um, why don't you give her a romantic hug? All right, that's good for that. Why now? Let's go ahead and visit the ocean. Where did my? There's my cursor. Yes, go down there. Okay, hurry up. Ultra speed through current action. Alright, Ocean, work your salty magic on me. If I'm not inspired to write the best poetry the world has ever known, I'm going to blame it on you. Alright, so now I need to gather inspiration for an hour. Alright, gather inspiration. Arthur was inspired and gathered the Sky and Stars theme, uh, gathered the Foreign Lands theme, the Foreign Lands theme, the Love theme, and the Love theme. The crash of the waves, the ebb and flow of the tide, the brisk salty air. Yes, this will make for a grand poem. Now it wants you to write a poem for art critic Liliana. Alright, then you should go home and do that. Go write a poem. Alright, let's go with a foreign lands theme and a food and drink theme. Let's call it the spice market. Oh, you've almost got it up to gold. Arthur wrote a poem. It is in the inventory. And done. I can't wait to see art critic Liliana's reaction to my masterpiece. Alright. Oh, and there she is. Just wandering into my private chamber. Hmm. Right, I'm supposed to read my poem to her. What is it? The Spice Market. Read that to art critic Liliana. I don't want to sound overly critical, but everything you just did was terrible. It felt stale and uninspired. You need to find your inner voice. Only then will you be able to create truly worthwhile art. Well, that didn't go how I expected. Perhaps a stroll through the forest will will help awaken my imagination. Perhaps it will. Um, you're starting to get kind of hungry though, so how about you get yourself something to eat? Um, potato soup sounds good. Mm -hmm. 
Öffne! Von Nesbeck. Vögoreg. Nivet. All right, yes, go ahead and go to the forest entrance. All right. No, not gather inspiration. Inspirational stroll is what I'm telling you to do. And of course, let's ultra speed through that. As, Ar as Arthur walked through the woods, he felt himself begin to relax. Ah, oh, yes, this is just what I need. I've been so tense lately. It's been clouding my mind and scattering my thoughts. No sooner had the words left his mouth when he heard a loud growling, and he turned to find himself staring straight into the eyes of a hungry beast. So I could run away. The bear looked quite hungry. It was time to make like a tree and get the heck out of here. Or it was better to bear or pacify the bear. Twas better to bear the ills one had than fly to others one knew not of. If the animal had to be confronted, perhaps the universal language of music would show the bear that Troubadour Arthur was no foe. Yeah, let's try to pacify the bear. Quickly whipping out his lute, Arthur started to play like he'd never played before. The bear looked at him quizzically. It appeared to be working. Not even an angry bear could resist his raw musical talent. But Arthur's confidence was short-lived. The bear charged and a bit of massive chunk, and bit a massive chunk out of his arm. Screaming in pain, Arthur ran faster than he ever had before, and barely managed to get away alive. Received grievously mauled. Bah. Nice. Gah! A bear mauled my strumming arm. How am I ever going to play the lute again? Let's see. Now he needs to go to the tavern. Go to the tavern. Maybe he should go to the, um, whatchamacallit? Maybe he should go to the clinic. Heart beating so fast, blood pouring through ripped flesh and shredded shirt. I should be in pain, and yet I feel more alive in the face of death than I ever have before. What a rush! Amazing! Now maybe this is just massive blood loss talking, but I've never felt this kind of creative urgency before. I need to get some ideas down on paper. Oh, do I? So I need to write a poem. Alright, let's write a poem then. Oh, did I really drop back down to silver? I did. Alright. don't really have anything appropriate to this uh, recent experience. Well, I mean, art theme, of course. I guess Star and Skies theme. There we go. It's all about nature and everything, so the Watcher's art. How the sky and stars are the work, the artistic work of the Watcher. Arthur wrote a poem. It is in the invert. This poem is perfection, and it came to me so easily. I owe it all to my horrible injury. This is the breakthrough I've been searching for. True inspiration comes from love and loss, pain and ecstasy, from weakness and strength. Some celebration is in order. A good drink will mark the occasion and dull the pain a bit. Let's see. It wants me to get drunk now. All right, Arthur. Get drunk. Get a drink. Orlando is having a baby. Oh, is he? Orlando. You mean Frogo. <clears throat> They're having another baby. Or has he got someone on the side? Interesting. And then get a drink from the other one as well, when you're done with that.
Right, you are currently buzzed. Now you're tipsy. Oh yeah, brew wine in that one. And then get a drink from the other. I need to f flood my mind with new experiences, good and bad. Hick, I know I want to indulge myself with food, but what else can I explore? Now let's see, argue with somebody. K no, kiss somebody, of course. Love, romance, heartbreak, they are all big crowd pleasers when I include them in my performances, and why not? These feelings can define one's entire life. I've known love and loss, and I've never experienced them as part of my art. Um, you wrote a poem that was just like two love inspirations, so yes, yes you have. Let's see, I'm going to eat until I burst. Does this count as good or bad? Oh well, only one way to find out, and... What better way to explore the connection of two souls than through a kiss? I'm getting inspired just thinking about it. So I need to kiss someone and I need to get stopped. Um, let's woo art critic Liliana then. She happens to be here at the moment. Pensy K. Nival. Huh. Let's compliment her ankles. Huh? Huh? Then let's be friendly and uh, get to know. Oh, she thinks I'm being a bit creepy. I must be doing something right then. Alright, and let's ask her for inspiration. Oh, no, I'm being boring. Oh, well. Uh, let's apologize. Um, let's do another friendly thing. Oh, I got the love theme from her. Let's discuss the state of the kingdom. And then get to know. Um, let's tell a joke. Then let's praise her beauty. Oh, now she thinks I'm being flirty. Well, that's better than creepy. Now let's extol her virtues. And then let's be friendly again and get to know some more. Alright, let's tell a joke. And let's bestow favor. And then get to know. And then let's woo. And then let's praise her beauty. She seems to be getting more receptive. Um, then let's praise the watcher. And extol her virtues. Oh, I have my duties for the day. Gather inspiration for two hours and perform a poem. Well, those are gonna wait until I've managed to kiss this lady. Let's discuss the state of the kingdom, and then romantic hug. And let's praise her beauty some more. And then woo. Then let's get to know some more. I've gotten to know her a few times and I haven't learned any retreats yet. Alright, now let's first kiss her. Alright, I need to perform a poem and gather inspiration for two hours. So let's go ahead and recite poetry. Um, how about everything is cake? Oh, and we're up to gold again. Good. Oh, did not did I not successfully kiss her? Great. Okay, let's praise her beauty. All right, I've performed a poem. Good. Oh, I'm taking on extra duty. Great. 
Jimmy Jeanette. Ah, too vain. Oh, Extolled her virtues. Mm, and romantic hug. All right, let's try this first kiss out again. There we go. Kissing is well and good, but I need to explore a deeper connection if I want to find the key to the gate of true inspiration. So now it wants me to woohoo with someone, but I still have the duties of performing the loot, a loot song and gathering inspiration for two hours. So let me go ahead romantic ask her hand in marriage um woo shy kiss a lot of things i could do um let's embrace And then I suppose, where'd my cur- there's my cursor. Let's serenade. <laughs> and then let's woo. I'm getting pretty hungry and pretty tired. And gaze into eyes. Oh, we can kiss, pa we can kiss passionately now. Oh. Um, let's go ahead and stroke her cheek. Um, and let's woohoo. Oh, no. She's not interested at the moment. She thinks I'm being extremely irresistible, but yet rejected me. Um, let's give a romantic hug then. Then how about pronounce undying devotion? Oh, and let's attempt to woohoo again. Oh good, they seem to be doing, going off to do that now. Talky callous and mean. Molesson, Achiba, Monique. I wanted to experience the highs of life, and it feel and it fuels my creative spirit as I've never felt. Next, I shall test my tolerance for anger and physical conflict. Okay, so he wants to argue with somebody. All right. Well, you are getting really hungry and really tired, and you have other duties for the day. Go ahead and play your loot. Um, play craft hole my home tis thee. No, I didn't say you could sleep. Go perform. Alright, now you need to gather inspiration. You can just do that where you are. Oh, you're making yourself something to eat. Well, chosen by the watcher to start. Yeah, I guess you can go ahead and continue cooking for now. You have some time before you fail that, so there we go.
Maybe, maybe here in the marketplace. Yeah, gather inspiration in the marketplace. What are you eating? Gruel. Of course you made yourself a crappy meal. Well, at least you're not hungry anymore. Arthur was inspired and gathered the money theme. The money theme, the money theme, the food and drink theme, and the money theme. Nice! Nice. All right. Um, wait. I still need to gather inspiration for another 55 minutes. Um, where shall I gather my inspiration then? About... Let's go gather inspiration here by the Pit of Judgment. All right, hurry up. Alright, he gains the crime theme, the sickness and death theme, and the crime theme, and the sickness and death theme. And the crime theme again. Good. Good job, Arthur. Your duties for the day are done. Now go home and crash. You are quite tired. Yes, go sleep. Oh, and you still need to get stuffed as well. So make food when you get up. Oh, Adrian is here for some reason. Interesting. Um, have some onion soup. Okay, now eat it. Don't just put it down and wait for someone else to steal it from you. Eat it. Eat your onion soup. Alright, go ahead and make yourself something else to eat. Um, have some mushroom soup. Mm. Alright, now eat your mushroom soup. You're making food so you can eat it, not just that it'll be sitting around. Oh, my stomach. I feel like a tribe of double orcs is living inside me. I think the next thing I'll explore is self-restraint. Okay, so now it wants you to become hungry. That's going to take a while, and I need to argue with someone. So oh, there's Prior Leos. Let's argue with him. I am a uh, Jacobin, right? Jacobin, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jacobin would be something different. So let's argue with the Pateran monk. Who knew I was capable of such ire? I must go farther. I need to know what it means for two people to loathe one another. So now it wants me to declare someone my enemy. Wow. <clears throat> well, I can't declare him my enemy yet. Let's belittle his manhood. I mean, he is the one who managed to get married and have a child, but, uh, yeah, let's belittle his manhood. Let's call a milk a milk eyed knave. Let's spit in his face. Um. Let's muse how a cod piece could blabber so. But let's imply mother is a llama. Oh, he thinks I'm being unforgivably rude. Well, I am being unforgivably rude, so that makes sense. Um, ask art thou truly so clay-brained? 
Wabim Vo Jessup. Tevim Ya Roquel. Wonder how a hag seed could be so daft. Oh, there we go. Declare Laos as an as enemy. Turns out hate is powerful, but this was only an emotional fight. I have yet to experience the physical. I need to find someone who will hit me as hard as they can. Well, how about the person you just declared an enemy? Yes, fist fight him. It's uh, Sigenho's first war of religion. Oh, he beat the crap out of me. My heart, mind, and body have all been severely bludgeoned. Wonderful. Soon it will be time for me to write again. But first, you need to get hungry. Oh, I've currently got a dry spell already. Well, then you should kiss the art critic. Alright, there goes my dry spell. Good. Uh -huh. Oh, we're already platinum. Nice, I didn't even notice that happen. Excellent. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's the barmaid. I haven't seen her in a... I haven't done anything with her in a bit. Let's kiss the barmaid now. There's not really much else to do at the moment. I kind of have to wait to become hungry, and I don't get my duties for several more hours, so why don't I go ahead and nap? Lady, we we never we never even started courting, so why are you getting jealous? Right, we still have a few more hours before we get our duties. Um, what should we have him do? Oh no, the art critic seems to have passed out. That's not good. I suppose I'll get a drink. And maybe take a bath. And use my chamber pot. And gussy up. Might as well stack some buffs. And I suppose I'll take another nap. And that is actually going to be it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been The Sims Medieval, The Kingdom of Sigenho, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have.